Hi creatives! Today I am drawing a scene from the new movie called Little Women and I want you to join me in this process. I just love to talk to you when I'm drawing, so hopefully it would be interesting for you as well. And before I begin, I wanted to tell you that I joined Patreon, where I post my drawing tutorials, so if you would like to support me, join our creative family. There I post my long drawing tutorials with more precise explanation, talking about materials, watercolor techniques and so on. Well, let's get back to the drawing. So, little women. I have seen this movie in the theaters a few days ago and got absolutely mesmerized and I fell in love with every single character from the movie and the atmosphere was brilliant and costumes and of course storyline. I mean, have you seen the movie? If you have, write your thoughts in the comments, I really want to know what you think about it. So it is the seventh film adaptation of the book called Little Women, written by Louisa May Alcott. I don't know if you read the book, but I highly recommend you to do that. Or just go see the movie, because it is really worth of watching. The original Little Woman is a straightforward story that tracks the lives of the four March sisters, Meg, Jo, Beth and Amy, as they grow into young adults and tackle the specific challenges of being poor women in a civil war era in America. While the movie tells the story faithfully, it alerts the structure in many ways. Little Woman 2019 is a raw and personal adaptation, I think, compared to the more rosy versions that have released before, and in doing so it remains quite accurate to the source material. And uh, the main character, as for myself, that gone through the most changes in the movie is Emmy March, played by Florence Pugh. I absolutely fell in love with her. She was brilliant and character Emmy captured my heart first of all because she was an artist, just like me. No kidding, but really, to tell the truth, I didn't really like her in the books at all. She was described as very cute-looking, well-mannered young lady who knew how to behave to be liked by others. Amy was conceited and at the same time touchy, selfish and moody. Only her upbringing and spiritual values instilled in the family could restrain her. And movie finally shows us why she acts in a certain way. When she is angry, she commits dishonest and sometimes cruel acts, for example, burns a notebook with Joe's stories. And movie shows us that it was an act of offense. She was just upset because her beloved sister didn't want to bring her to the theater and showed some type of ignorance towards Amy. But when she burns Joe's stories, she feels truly sorry. So, Amy is capable of repentance. And this is what I like about Amy March, she's such a complicated character. The positive and negative qualities in her are closely intertwined and are in a very fragile balance. She was going through a very tough time in her life and grown into a very strong woman, because this is, after all, a story about strong women. And, of course, it's the merit of Florence Pugh who played Amy March. She displays her character in so many beautiful ways that I didn't even saw in the book. And their relationship with Laurie, played by Timothy Chalamet, is a great example of both character growth mentally and physically. That's why I love the movie better, because it brings a lot of small parts of the character to life that makes them more complex. For example, in the book, Lori does not stand up Amy for the ball in the Europe. Instead, they met and begin their adult courtship with Lori seeing Amy differently for the first time and Amy making the most of the evening. Amy has even used strips of fabric to enhance her dress in a thrifty trick that makes her stand out to Lori. In movie adaptation, however, this small detail is discarded in favor of a much more dramatic scene. 
Lori, drunken and debauched, stands Amy up before running into her at the ball anyway and berating her for being a gold digger. Amy has no patience for him and his outburst at the ball sets their relationship up for their coming scenes together. Allowing viewers to see the savvy and responsible young woman that Amy has become. And self-pitying mope Lori is. I just love how brutally honest is Amy in the movie. She knows she is a good artist, but not the best to achieve career that she always dreams of. She always knew she's going to marry rich, because she can, and because this is her responsibility to the family. She sets Lori down for his behavior, but at the same time she makes him to become more better person of himself. When with Joe, he was always trying to change himself to make her fall in love with him. Amy, on the other hand, loves him just the way he is and not pitying him. But on the other hand, she makes him think about his future. And this is the scene that I'm drawing. When Lori is gently untying Amy's apron, while she's twisting her ring finger, waiting for her so-called fiancé to come. It has so much unspoken words. Lori's nascent feelings and Nemi's restrained feelings. Because she always thinks realistically and she thinks that the best party for her is the wealthy noble man John Brooke who cares for her than the futile hopes for Lori and his broken heart. In the end, Lori sees strong, well-rounded Amy and falls for her deeply and he is precisely seeking her favor, even after she rejected his feelings for the first time, just like Joe. He proves her that his love is strong and that he will be ready to do a lot for her. And this is the beauty of their relationship for me. Lori becomes the best version of himself with Amy, and she accepts him like that just the way he is. They make each other better, and this is the beauty of any relationship, as I guess. I highly recommend you to watch the movie, it is great! And I hope you enjoyed my drawing process and chattering with you. And if you've seen the movie, tell me your thoughts about it. I really wanted to discuss it with you and know your thoughts about it. And if you like my video, please let me know by pressing the like button. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!